Well, hello, muggles and internet. My name is Kevin, and welcome back to another video. So, guys, for today's Muggle Monday video, I am doing my theory video about Credence, which I asked you guys if you would like to see in my last Harry Potter video, I believe. And a lot of you guys said that you would like to see that, so here is that video for you. Also, I am going to be throwing in some theories about Claudia Kim's new character, which is the girl who sits beside Credence in the first look picture that we got and yeah I just have some theories about her that I'm going to throw in here that may blow your mind but we shall see how it goes. So if this is your first time ever seeing a Muggle Monday from me, hello, hello my name is Kevin and every single Monday I make Harry Potter related videos and I call it a Muggle Monday. So if that is something that you are interested in and you would like to see more of then do not forget to hit that subscribe button. Also don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you would like more theories from me in the future related to anything Harry Potter. So let's just dive on into this because we've got a lot of stuff to cover and got some homework to do. So, first of all, we're just going to talk about what we know about Credence based on the first movie and the screenplay. So of course, we obviously know that Credence is an Obscurus and that is when you repress your magic and basically you become an Obscurus. And we also know that Obscurials only usually live to their 10th birthday and Credence of course has lived past that 10th birthday so we know he is very powerful. We know that he's very easily manipulated and he's so innocent because we saw how Graves or Grindelwald basically just manipulate him into doing whatever he wanted him to do in the last movie so we know that he's very innocent and easily manipulated. And of course the main thing that we know is he did not die at the end of Fantastic Beasts. Also producer David Heyman from Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Him stated that there was actually a deleted scene from the Fantastic Beasts movie where we see Credence board a boat and leave. Now we don't know what boat this is, most of us can just assume that it could be the same boat that we saw Newt get on at the end of the last movie as well and he's gone on that same boat. Also producer David Heyman said he didn't want to include this scene in the original movie because they didn't want to make it so obvious that he actually survived and makes it into the second movie. So with all of that information that we already know just from seeing the first movie and reading the screenplay we know all of that already. Anyways jumping into what we can expect from Credence in Fantastic Beasts 2 here are some of the other information that we also know and it is factual information and not the Series, it's actual we know this for certain. So on Pottermore it says that Credence will be returning in a mysterious way. Now this has got a lot of us thinking of what this could be and I have got some ideas that I know what it's going to be and I'm sure a lot of you guys will agree with me because if you know anything about the circus that we have been told about. So let me give you some information about this particular circus before I get back into Credence because I feel like you need to know more information on the circus first and then it will all make sense how it relates to Credence. We know that this circus is called Circus Arcanus which is a quite a weird name for a circus and we also have a post of this circus with loads of different information on it which is very very interesting and on Pottermore it says in Fantastic Beasts the crimes of Grindelwald we get to explore exactly what this circus entails with Oliver Dari Olafsson I just butchered that actor's name but anyways plays Skender who is the owner of the circus Actor Claudia Kim's character is one of the circus's attractions and notice that is in inverted commas, okay? That's just important to note. We also know some information about Claudia Kim's character which is also on Pottermore and it states that Claudia Kim's character is a male dictus which is a carrier of a blood curse that makes her transform into a beast. This appears to be different than an animagus, I just butchered that name also as an animagus can transform into an animal by choice. So this means that Claudia Kim is able to transform into some type of beast and it is part of her blood. It's not something that she just adapted, it was in her blood. My theory on Credence is that at the end of the last movie, he met up with this circus people when he was trying to escape. Maybe he got manipulated or he was discussing who he is and that he's an obscurist. And this character, Claudia Kim's character, was telling him about who she is and therefore he joined the circus and now he's gone on the boat and he's gone to Paris I'm assuming. So from that I can theorize that Claudia Kim and uh, Credence are going to have like a relationship because in the first look teaser photo we see they're very sitting very intimate with each other so I'm gonna assume that they're going to be like a love interest with one another and maybe she's gonna help him control who he is because we all know that that's what Credence wants he wants to know how to control what he is and to like unlock his magical abilities and not to be an Obscurus. So maybe we're going to learn more about how he's going to break away from that and she is going to help him and maybe also he will help her along the way and maybe they will escape from the circus and they go on to do great things 
or they go on to do very bad things. They could go either way. They're either going to become very bad or they're going to be very good. We don't know too much about Claudia Kim's character, so we don't know if she's going to be malevolent or anything like that. So we'll just have to wait for more information or till the movie actually comes out. So that's the main thing that, that I have a theory with, with Credence is that he's going to join the circus. Maybe he's going to become one of those attractions also, or maybe he's going to learn how to adapt to all of his abilities and him and Claudia Kim's character are going to be like bays, and then maybe they're going to break away from the circus. That is my theory about Credence. Now, going on to my theory about Claudia Kim's character, I've already given you some background about her and that she's a male dick which means she has a blood curse. So, in the poster for the circus, which I will include on screen somewhere, we can see that there is a snake enchanter. So, perhaps that means that she can speak parcel tongue because the beast that she transforms into is a snake. So, from that, just because we haven't been told Claudia Kim's character's name, I am going to theorize that she is actually Nagini. Yes, I said it, okay? I think that she is Nagini, and I'm not alone with this because there's actually a few other people out there on YouTube and stuff that think this theory also. So, it's very much possible that she is Nagini. Like, why would you hide the name of the character's name when you told us, like, that Skender was the name of the guy who owns the circus? So why would you not tell us the name of this one girl who's going to be in the circus? Because her name is Nagini, and that would give away everything. So that is my huge main theory about Claudia Kim's character is that she's actually Nagini or that she can just turn into some form of snake. Maybe she's going to be a basilisk either. Who freaking knows? So yeah, that is basically it. I really want to know what your guys' opinion on this is. Do you think that maybe Claudia Kim's character is Nagini. Do you think that this is what's going to happen to Credence in the next film? Let me know down below. I'd love to hear your guys' opinions. And I will see you all next time in my next Harry Potter video. So goodbye, guys.